Good getting internet. Uh, today is Saturday, September 12th, 2020, in the year of everybody's health. Um, I had started trying to do some open captions, which would have been displayed right here, and they looked terrible. Um, let me know if you think that might be really useful for anybody. Where is your focus on? Problems focusing on Maya for some reason. Not sure why. Anyway, uh, I've fixed a few things when it comes to Wild Arms. Uh, first off, I finally found the... Uh, here, let me just load things up. You'll notice that you can actually now see the corners of the menus and so on, and you'll actually be able to see the achievements. I am running this on a 4 by 3 aspect ratio now. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't figure out a way of doing that without changing my monitor screen resolution. So I changed my monitor screen resolution. Um, hopefully the music isn't too quiet. I think I adjusted it up a little bit. If it is too quiet, please let me know and I'll redo it for the next three episodes. Um, also, I need to increase my volume. I just noticed that I was not speaking very loudly. Uh, let's go ahead and just increase both of them a little bit. There we go. Hopefully that's good. Um, for future reference for me, I'm at minus four decibels for audio, uh, for microphone, and minus 17 and a half decibels for game audio. So, um, as mentioned, I changed the aspect ratio so you'll actually be able to see the things. The other thing is that you'll notice that this is no longer blurry. I found the settings finally to let me have the good rendering. I'm just going to skip through the opening. Uh, there we go. So yeah, you can see that I still have the nice crisp 3D textures, and at the same time, the 2D textures are no longer bad. They're not the greatest. Um, I have it not touching those textures at all, so there's no anti-aliasing done which means that they're very crisp, but very pixelated. Um, at some point, I'm probably going to do a little bit more tweaking to figure out if I can make that any better. I don't know if I can or not. Um, let's see. Yep. So, uh, something I did not cover is every Guardian has their own special ability, not just, hey, look, I can summon stuff later on, which, spoiler, you can summon stuff later on, just like Wild Arms 1. But also in terms of you have a custom command. And in the case of uh, Gurdjieff, which is what Ashley has equipped, the custom command is Defensor, which protects the entire party rather than just himself. Um, we're going to be using this to make sure that Ashley dies. <laughs> like a better way of phrasing it, because um, we need to kill him off in order to be able to fight anything right now. So, um, let me pull up the guide that I've been following again. One moment. Ah, actually, let me pause this. Ba -da 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 -da. Okay, so, um, let's make sure I have things equipped right, because this is gonna be weird, because I, I actually need Grudyev on Lilka for the time being. Oh, right. This game isn't smart enough to let me unequip from other characters. There we go. I need it on Lilka at the moment because Lilka is going to be the only one that's going to fight. Uh, let's see. We can buy equipment for Lilka. And I know I still need to go into the castle. In fact, let's just go into the castle now. I just tried to move my um, camera angle, which, by the way, can you actually see when I save and save state now? Not Steam. OBS. That one. So, save state. Yep, you can see my save states now. Sweet! You must despise the terrorists. I understand, but don't let your anger make you reckless. Such action will get you killed and endanger your friends. Don't forget that. Actually, surprisingly good commentary from a guard. Unlike that idiot who thinks that they're invincible and so on.
Beyond here is the castle library, which houses Bilgaia's future. Remember, knowledge alone cannot overcome violence. It's the great library that has nothing in books in that room. Yeah, this is just the castle halls. So yes, Uncle Wild Arms 1, we don't have a princess. Uh -oh. Sort of, you'll understand what I mean much later on. Here we go, library, good. We need to get some lore. The Filgaia Theory. Of course. This theory holds that Filgaia itself is a single living organism. In this view, the world is a living mass, and its planet, and the planet is its pencil. So that's the Gaia thesis for reference. That's an actual real-world thesis on Earth, is that you can model the Earth based off of the Earth itself being an organism. Um, I only know about this because I've played a lot of Sim Earth, which is kind of based on the Gaia thesis. The words are foreign. You cannot read this book. I can read that later. The Heroine of Salvation. A nameless maiden is led to a hilltop by a sword's voice. On the hilltop, she receives the sword and a name. She is now the Sword Magus, a sword in hand and a werewolf by her side. The people call out, and she is drawn to a bloody battlefield. The blood-drenched battlefield is where she belongs, at the graves of lives extinguished. So, you'll notice quite a bit, especially in the beginning parts of the game, that the Sword Magus isn't given any agency. And unlike in Wild Arms 1, when a woman character is not given agency, that's played more like a trope or unintentional trope. Um, this is played intentionally, and we're going to see some feedback from that, shall we say. The Guardian Blade. Named Argitlam, the sword called the Guardian Blade was wielded by the Sword Magus, wielded to vanquish countless demons. This sword is our last ray of hope in a dark time. Argitlam. The name means, and the rest is illegible, so, Arcatlam is a real reference for reference. Um, one moment, let me go look that up so I make sure I don't mess this up. Yep, and I think I mentioned this in um, the Wild Arms 1 Let's Play, but it is literally the Silver Hand or Silver Arm. It's a reference to a Celtic figure. Um, yeah, it's a reference to a Celtic figure. There is a Celtic story that involves the Fearbold. Um, who were the inhabitants of Ireland prior to when the Celts arrived. Anyway, it's fascinating. Feel free to look it up on Wikipedia. Hopefully editor me will actually remember to include a link down below. The Sword Cathedral. This sacred ground is where the Sword Magus first heard the voice of Argonland. A cathedral was built here to preserve Mother Philgaia, so the great deeds of the Sword Magus wouldn't be forgotten. The Sword Cathedral is the pride of Mary Abul and the guiding light of Philgaia. So yeah, Maria Bull is the center of religion of Philgaia. And that doesn't necessarily mean everybody in Philgaia adheres to the same religion or anything. Who is that? Is that the queen? Like, when she's younger? Peace is a fragile thing that must be protected by the strong. We must unite to achieve peace, which the late queen also desired so dearly. Oh, right, late queen. I wonder if that's actually supposed to be the queen. Yep. Queen. Portrait of the 14th queen of Maria Bull. Marguerite Sin Maria Bull. Huh. I didn't realize that was there. Or maybe it was just a blur and I couldn't figure out what it was supposed to be. Interesting. The Four Protector States. Maria Bull, in the eastern part of Broad Filgaia, protects the trade routes. Sylvia Land in the south is blessed with fertile soil and protects agriculture. Guild Galad, to the north, uses fossils to protect its unique industrial technology. To the west is Sleheim, the protector of military might. Remember that term Sleheim from the Sleheim Liberation Army that Brad's part of? But power that grows too strong leads a nation down the path of its own destruction. Some more hints as to what may have happened in Sleheim. Speaking of, the tale of Sleheim's liberation. 
Sleheim's military seized power, but a resistance movement took form. Weak at first, the rebels were united by a powerful resistance into a powerful resistance by a hero. Driven by a fierce desire for peace, they overthrew the king and won a stunning victory. But the hero in war became unwanted in peacetime. The hero was charged as a war criminal and erased from the annals of history. Remember how Brad was described as a hero? And what do you do with heroes when they're no longer wanted? So that book is about Brad. And we will find out more information about Brad a bit later. Probably this video, actually, we'll find out some information. Come down to the basement. If this junker were running, we could have deployed it during the attack. So. I wish I could have saved my buddies. I feel so powerless. So, yep, this is the um, garage of the military. You're a sorceress, huh? Maybe if I knew magic, I could have done something then. How'd you survive a slaughter like that? You must have nine lives. They also say something different. Damn! My friends get killed, but all I can do is sit here and do no and doing nothing shouldn't say this, but I'm glad that at least you survived the attack. Don't worry about it. There are a lot of things you can do with just a knife. You can't do with just a knife. And of course, there's only so much that all that one person can do alone. Tools are nice, but the person possessing them has to use them to the fullest. Fullest. Uh. And a full revive. We don't even have a revive fruit yet, and we've already gained a, our first full revive. Nice. Don't worry, we'll be selling it later. <laughs> Troop carrier is in the hangar up ahead. Use your magic to fix that broken darn down thing. Yeah, there's not too many places in the game that everybody would start during the attack that people actually react differently to the characters, unlike Wild Arms 1, where that was all over the place. Like, everybody here considers you a hero, whereas everybody else is just like, rah, 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 terrorist, rah, rah, rah. They say you can use magic. Regrettably, we knights cannot use magic. We'll need magic to fight monsters, so we'll be counting on you to help us. You know I can use magic. Loco's not known in Maria Bull. Whereas Ashley's actually a, was a musketeer, so Ashley's actually a member of the military. The king is busy dealing with the aftermath of the attack. What an outrage. How horrible. Writing letters of condolence to the dead soldiers' families. I thought there was more than just the revive fruit here. Unfortunately, I don't have the ability to... I don't have radar from Wild Arms 1, which allows me to just ping everything. Um, I'm pretty sure there is supposed to be... Yeah, there's a big berry here somewhere, but that's fine. I don't need the big berry right now. The full revive is more useful. All right, let's go ahead and head out. We're going to upgrade Lilka's equipment a little bit. Stupid fountain in the middle of everything. Ooh. The in de interlacing is very shaky. I mean, nobody's commented about it so far, so I don't think it's really bothering anybody yet. Uh, let's see. We need a mage robe because that increases defense. And might as well get a flumbrella. Because we will, in fact, be using Loka to attack in not that long. Whereas, there's not much of a reason for us to upgrade Ashley's equipment yet. Because, um, he's not going to be doing much of anything for a while. Ah. Ears are bothering me. Dun, 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 
The Valeria Chateau is like a great big thing at the top of a cliff. That's where we're going. Ashley, aren't you glad to be eating Marina's home-baked bread again? You know, I shouldn't say this, but you should feel lucky to be the only survivor. I wouldn't want to see Marina heartbroken. Are you Ashley's friend? Well, then, they'll give you some bread here for free. It's darn tasty. Alright, I think it's time to head out. How are you doing? I've had to clean up a bunch of vomit from my cats today, so I'm not happy about that. Whoa, the water looks so strange. As do the clouds in the sky. So, overlooking a great big cliff. Well, here's a great big cliff. It's, it's, is it here? Yep. That is the Valeria Chateau. No. No random battles for you. One moment. Um, I would like to meet with Mr. Val- Sorry, wrong voice. Um, I'd like to meet with Mr. Valeria. I'm sorry, but is he expecting you? Um, no, not really. In that case, can I ask you to wait in the parlor on the third floor? I would be happy to. Please, let me show you the way. I have an invitation there. Why didn't you say that sooner? Sorry. Can't help but get nervous. I hate waiting like this. Bet we'll have to have good manners and everything. Oh, manners, right. And it's Irving. Sorry to keep you waiting. There was something I had to finish. No, no, don't get up, even though you're already standing because we don't have chairs in this game. Let me introduce myself first. I am Irving. Irving Vold Valeria, Lord of the House of Valeria. Uh, I'm, um, Ashley Winchester, the sole survivor of the Detroit Special Squad. And the lovely lady is the famed Ilniac Witch Girl, perhaps? Remember, the Ilniac Witch Girl is Lilka's older sister. Well, Ashley, what would you like to know most? Everyone thinks that Arms was disbanded because of what happened at the ceremony. But actually, our aim was not simply to prevent terrorism, as we announced. Actually, it's um, it was a magnificent experiment in demon summoning. Demon summoning? A magic ritual was to bring beings from a parallel universe in two hours. You mean you brought us there for that? Yes, and arms was destroyed. But that wasn't the end of everything. You miraculously survived, and control of arms passed to the House of Valeria. I'm saying that arms is being reborn under the Valerias for a different purpose. The new arms will bring uh, will belong to no nation, but will be an autonomous fighting force. Ashley Winchester, you were selected by arms. Zoom out. I was. <laughs> ah, a bit of a flash to a uh, certain Anastasia. Oh, here you are. Is something wrong with my sister? Uh, no, nothing. These two are guests of mine. You could at least greet them. Alticia. 
and for those of you that have played in any of my D&D campaigns, this name should be awfully familiar. I just based the now deity off of the name, not actually anything to do with the name, so don't worry about spoilers. No, not all TC. Dang it. I keep doing that. Oh, let me finish. The old arms was destroyed, so is this the new arms made up of... Is this... Uh, is the new arms just made up of me? No, not just you. You are the third member. We must be ready for anything, so we need a crest sorcerer. Which is why I asked for help from the famous Ilniac witch girl. Wait, this little girl too? Um, but I... I... My name is Lilka Ilniac. The Ilniac witch girl is my older sister. She got hurt in an experiment with a magical artifact and couldn't come. So I came instead. Ha, ha, ha. I guess it won't be of any of you. It has to be my sister, right? Bye! I would like to use my magic to be of some use to somebody, too. Be like my sister. Of course, my magic isn't as good as hers. Ah, isn't as good as hers. I was only in about the middle of my class in magic school. I sort of lack confidence. Do you think you can use me? I'm not controlling the camera, by the way. This is a cutscene. <sighs> All right, I'm sure you'll be fine. But you probably know already, but this is a very serious business, understand? Yes, yes, thank you very much. Oh no, what did I just sign myself up for? I still have a long way to go, but someday I'll be just like my sister. I'm so glad. I thought all men who were prettier than women were cold. So yeah, Irving's supposed to be a pretty boy, silver hair boy. Irving, you aren't that way at all. You're actually very nice. Nice. Oh, really? I don't think I'm quite as nice as you say, Lilka. Really? But I'm not about to die, deny that I... Oh, sorry. I think that's supposed to actually be Irving saying that. But I'm not about to deny that I am pretty. I've never thought so, but that's what I've always been told. Actually, that previous line probably would be... Well, I don't know. Translation issue, maybe? These days, I'm beginning to think that maybe it's really the case. <laughs> Let me give you your first mission as arms. Oh, but wait. Our preparations will take a while longer. Wait in the chateau for our preparations to complete. Then you'll get the assignment. portrait over on one side is of the chateau which look as heads underneath the portrait somehow anyway welcome to the Valeria Chateau here on the third floor are the parlor in Irving and Altesia's private rooms so Valeria is always busy if he's not in his room he may be on another floor to get to the other floors please use the elevator straight ahead the chateau is large enough to need an elevator. How curious. I'm going to be safe stating quite a bit here because I need to make sure I don't trigger a specific plot yet. You see a book entitled Be Ever Prepared. Disaster and misfortune may strike at any time. To survive, you must assume the worst possible scenario and plan accordingly. Unpreparedness allows for a bad situation to grow worse, overwhelming the unprepared. Precaution and prevention stop disaster from spreading and mini help minimize the damage. Not that anything in the U.S. happening right now could possibly be related to this whatsoever. Anyway. Borders are barriers. Human settlements grow until they reach a point where a nation is born. Thilgaia's nations and people are divided by invisible walls called borders. The people are further divided by a longing for security and suspicion of foreign nations. Will the Gaians ever learn to live together as one people sharing the same planet? Yeah, Wild Arms 2 is 
significantly heavier handed on its, um, how to put it, um, on the things that it views as core values. Um, the Wild Arms series of games always has something to teach people, and Wild Arms 2 definitely wants to teach people. So I believe this, yeah, this is actually Irving's office. The coming threat. The threat of the blazing demon is past, but who knows when another threat may appear. The next disaster to strike could be a monster, or it could be a natural disaster. We're not prepared to deal with such disasters. A threat global in scale could overwhelm us. We must unite! But how can we? Are our beliefs and ideas too different? Oh dear. Some anvils deserve to be dropped, as the trope says. And oh boy, do they keep dropping these anvils. The Road to World Unity. So what can unite the world so that all nations can live as one? Absolute terror? Overwhelming, overpowering force? Common ideals? Everyone has different ideas and opinions. Will the world ever unite? In the past, others strove for unity, only to see their accomplishments vanish like a dream. Is it even possible for one ruler to unify the world? Perhaps the world will unite only when all the people of the world desire unity. The Philgaia Summit is a conference of the nation's highest ranking leaders. The summit is held every two years and during a crisis. During Sleheim's collapse, an emergency summit was held to discuss the world situation. The Treaty of Escargo, a peace treaty, was also discussed again at this time. At the summit, nations meet to discuss world peace, not to not their own national interests. Irving's diary is locked. You can't read it. Yeah, because this is Irving's bedroom. Alright. Let's go down a floor. Let's go down to the second floor, shall we? Before I joined arms, I observed Raline. The Rayline. The network of planets' life energy. Wish I could observe Valeria Chateau's kitchen. Um, as a trained observer, of course. D don't worry, my hand isn't sh shaking that much. I'm Linda. I'm k kinda new at this, so go easy on me, okay? What a nice young body. That's creepy. I'm Momo. As you can see, I'm a nurse. So, Momo and Linda are going to be very important. Sort of. Uh, if I remember right, those are the voices that we're going to be hearing quite a bit in the game. It's a place that we can rest. Also a place that we have a treasure chest. The game, Shuldark. This is the um, turtle guardian that um, Cecilia had to start. And notice it increases sorcery. Another place to rest. No treasure chest in this room, though. And those books are fake. <laughs> a little small discussion room. Oh no, it's a kitchen. And Anastasia's, or Altesia's there. It's so rare that my brother agrees to see visitors. He has a bad habit of taking everything among, upon himself. And no one has the strength to do everything all alone. And everyone has the strength to help others. Isn't it ironic? Really don't know why Altesia is in the kitchen, but sure. Altesia is a noble just like her brother, so. The door is locked. The door is locked. The door is locked. The door is locked. The door is not locked. And has more gold. It's Moa Galt from Wild Arms 1. 
Again, lots of translation issues, but which translation is correct, I don't know. It's a statue that we can't actually say anything about. And it's the overlook onto the first floor. So, speaking of the first floor, let's go down to the first floor. This video is probably going to be just a lot of adventuring and exploring of places. Let's go down to the first floor. I mean, we've gone a half an hour and haven't had a single encounter yet, so. Okay. Memory service. Yes, please. Save. Wow, why is my it... Why is my itchy so nose? Why is my nose so itchy? We've played for three hours according to that. In ancient times, the Philgaia was protected by the Sword Magus. Now it's our turn to protect Philgaia as members of arms. Let's go behind the elevator. Actually, this is the entryway, isn't it? Yep. We're going to be in the chateau quite a bit for reference. It's going to be just one of those places that we're constantly in. Valeria lost the use of one of his legs due to an unfortunate accident. He showed such brilliance in swordsmanship and the casting of spells. How truly unfortunate. You know the memory services all over the world, right? Sir Valeria created them and deployed them all over Philgaia. They've been around a lot longer than arms, so they kind of have seniority over us. That's right, the save points were made by Sir Valeria. Oh, that's the exit. Wait, you can't go in there. It's a restricted area. This area is for emergency use only. It is off limits. Sorry. It's these two that are actually the ones that I want to talk with later on. Don't tell anyone, but we're just going to work right now. You be quiet now. Excuse me, but are you looking for someone? Um, yes, I was looking for Irving. I think I saw him headed for his room just now. Sorry, that was the calm voice. Whoops. Thank you. I'll go and see, I guess. Uh, what's going on with that? We'll have more information later on in the game. But first... We need... I'm going to save again because this is going to be a very dangerous part for us because we're so low level. We're significantly lower level than normal at this point. All right, and let's go back up to the room that we were going to before, which is third floor. There he is. I'll tell you about the mission. Are your preparations complete? I'm ready. We'll have you come along on our first mission. Your first mission is to join up with another arms member. Another comrade? Who could that be? It's not like we haven't played through part of his prologue or anything. Oh, well, where do we meet up? Oh, well, I will show you. Uh, the other party already knows you're coming. All you have to do is go there and meet up. Well, that sounds simple enough. Understood. Oh, uh, Ashley, could I borrow your weapon? Um, my weapon? 
talk. We expect there to be fighting at the meeting point. We want you to be prepared for anything. You seem to be keeping this in good shape. Pachoo! What was, what was that job? What happened? Uh, this man is a traitor. Arrest the treasonous Ashley. Luca, here are your orders. You'll escort the prisoner, Ashley. Escort him to the prison island of Isleville. Isleville? I like Isleville better, even though that's definitely not the way it's supposed to be said. Inside the prisoner convoy vessel. Ashley's just had a really bad day, hasn't he? Shoot, why did this happen to me? Open up, let me out of here. I didn't do anything. If you check it out, I'll be cleared. Everyone says they're innocent and they're here. And when they hear they're being sent to Illsvale. That's because it's an isolated prison island. Once you go in, you never come out alive. Hi, Zone. Joining us today. Ashley. From the beginning, he planned to trick me. Well, don't worry. When we get to Illsvale Prison, I'll prove your innocence. Your innocence. You'll need to be patient until then. Like Zone is not patient. <sighs> getting turned into some type of demon, getting arrested for something you didn't do. Hey, almost there. Now, get out. Feast your eyes on the lovely Illsvale Prison. Sun King, what are you doing? This is what I deal with. Oh wow, that looks a lot better than the original Wild Arms. Why don't you just settle down and curl up there? Do you harden criminals so despised by the public, including somebody who was framed for just shooting a gun once? Welcome to Illsvale Prison. As the first con convict here, I'm now the ruler of this independent domain. In other words, I'm the warden. As, you all, as all you criminals are able to see, remember, there's never been a trial or anything. This was just exile him. Just go now. Never mind the fact that he's like the sole survivor of something and anything. Illsvale is an isolated prison island. In other words, it's a natural fort. While it wasn't terribly hard for you convicts to get here, it's impossible to get out alive. Once you're used to it, ah, life here isn't so bad. Being on the outside isn't so hot. Here, you trouble only useless fools. How about spending your rest of your year reigning here? Is enjoying yourself here. The longer you're here, the better your life will be. We've got 214 years left. I've got 214 years left on my sentence. Hope you don't have any fantasies about escaping yet. And of course, if you win my favor, becoming prison warden. It's not a dream. The fact that this island is an independent domain stems from that very fact. <laughs> so yep, we've been locked up in prison for a crime we didn't commit. Anyway, I need to go explain everything to Warden Dokyun. Let me take care of it. You should just stay put and lay low. Best to take things slow. So you used to stuff like this? Oh, uh, well, sort of. When I was little, I pulled a lot of pranks and got locked in the closet for it. Wow, that's... Okay, Loka, you may have some problems. Well, regardless, we were disarmed and I now have no weapon. No intention of doing anything drastic. But how do I explain it? If I really wanted, I could use my magic to blast through in a second. Uh Nope, 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 it's not me. I didn't do anything, I swear. Oh, well, we can use this. Definitely. I'll retrieve your confiscated weapons. <laughs> Lay low and patient, she says. Adapt to your circumstances. <clears throat> Luca! Thanks for earlier. You tried to cheer me up, right? Be careful out there. Okay! 
And we have control over Loka. Okay. So. Uh, we need to go down the hallway. The number three waiting area has been closed by the security system. Eh, kill it anyway. The security system was killed. Number three waiting area is open. Yeah, I don't understand the kill it anyway part. Oh, you're deciding to go down onto the UPS where your brother threw up. Great. Okay. Um. Enter the door? I'm having to be very careful about this, so that's why I'm doing things a little weirdly. Nothing. Healberry. Cute ribbon. Obviously, cute ribbons are better than hairbands. Obviously. So that's what the turrets do, by the way. They shoot you. Who would have thought? However, oh, that's right. This is a tutorial for a reason. You can kill them using the fire rod. You just have to go at an angle. Like that. Okay. I think I still need to run from everything, don't I? That's a beast pillar, by the way. That thing looks horrible. It looked horrible before, too, so, I mean, there's not really much of a difference. Um... I think I'm still running away for a bit. Although this probably wouldn't be too bad now that I think about it. I don't know. Alright. Need to watch out for the stupid pillars. Ah. And falling. This is why I don't like playing games with crappy 3D. Because it's hard to tell exactly where I need to line up at, and that's annoying to me. A DA-259 in the prison block. Release the guard creatures immediately. Suppress the rebellion now. Inmates wanted dead or alive. Repeat. Well, screw you too. safe for me to no it's not safe for me to fight <sighs> this is gonna suck this is why we have grody uh, equipped on Lilka by the way it's because Lilka's defense is terrible and we're gonna be taking a lot of hits a lot of hits down there. I was surprised. Oh no! Bark Easts! Killer Bite? Ow! Fence down by four. Oof. I mean, that doesn't sound like much, except that Lucas defense is so low. Four is actually a significant amount. That is for later. That just brings me there? Yeah, okay. That's not useful.
I'm not used to being so low level here. This is rough. This is normally an easy dungeon. But I'm running away from everything. So I should probably mention uh, the plan. So Lilka and Brad will eventually get to level nine. I'm going to be doing this outside of this area where I have a little more control over my levels. You know, where there isn't, say, oh, I don't know. Um. Isn't a situation where I can't just leave and come back type of thing. And the reason why is that we want HP up three times before we do anything. Um, Brad and Lilka will be the base of our party for a while. Will be our party, basically. Number two waiting area has been closed by a security system. Ah, uh, kill it anyway. basically going to be have we're going to have to do a lot of weird tricks to make things work uh, and part of that is needing to um... okay there's two turrets there I can kill that turret from here after the random battle My brain is kind of mush right now. Um, oh, right. Um, so, yeah. Another number two security area. Which is there. Um, so, what we want to do is be able to level up to level nine outside in an area where we're not restricted from going back to Maria Bull to load up on personal skills to increase HP up. Once Loka and Brad are level nine, we no longer have to care about them internally leveling. Ashley, we're going to have to keep low level for longer, and that's going to be rough. Oops. This amazing stone has the power to save your adventure. Always save in new slots, especially when you're doing a low level run because you might be stuck. Okay. equipment. Wait, what? But we can actually use a mechanical glove like this anyway. Ah, uh, who cares? I'll take it all and something will work. I came to jail card. So, here's an interesting thing that happened as a result of this. So, Shuldark is currently equipped on Ashley, for reference. And I'm going to equip that on Lulka. The end result will be that I will actually be duplicating the Guardian, if I remember right. I mean, you're duplicating a really low-level Guardian, so it's not really that big of a deal. And honestly, it's probably useless anyway, but I'm doing it anyway. I feel like it. Unfortunately, I still have that Guardian Eclipse while I'm doing this fight. Whoops. Please let me just run. Damn it. Yeah, notice that she's taking nearly double damage. Because she's so bad on defense right now. Okay. Here's Ashley. That jail card, you should be able to open the lock. For that. Thanks, Loka. Hand me my card. I'm guessing this is how I open it? No. Uh, there 
you go. Tail card. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Here, take this. Wow, you brought so much. Mechanical gloves are my gloves, right? Oh, well, not mine. Yeah, I didn't understand, so what could I have done? Anyway, here, put this on. We'll need to get out of here quickly. Okay, great job. J look over here, please. Oh, come on! Whoa. That noise we heard earlier was a mass jailbreak. It seems that all the convicts here escaped at once. Mass jailbreak? Is that possible? Oh, preparations are done. Let's go. I haven't changed clothes or anything, but that's fine. See? Two shoulder. See? We have two of them now. Anyway, I am equipping Moa Gold. Oh, yeah, that's right. We actually didn't need to run from fights while just Loco is around. I just didn't read properly. But now that Ashley's in the party, we absolutely have to because we cannot let Ashley level up. And there's two ways of doing that. One, you run away from every fight. Or two, you kill Ashley every fight. And I do mean every fight. That's why leveling up these characters is going to be annoying. But yeah, I guess I probably should have grinded Luka up a little bit, but oh, it'll be fine, probably. Anyway, so what we needed to do before is over here. Remember we saw that guard that was just standing down below? Well, what we need to do is this. Oh. Yep, Ashley just straight up killed somebody with her with his knife. Prison breaks, man. No. Oh, so I figured out how the leveling part works. Or not leveling, um, the exclamation point. It's, I believe it's the sum of levels of your party. Of the active party, I should say. I just turned myself around. Derp. That's why I don't like about 3D things. Make sure there's nothing else in the room. Nope. We're going this way now. Nose is still itchy. Zone is still sleeping on top of my UPS. Or not sleeping. Sitting. Ooh, that one's at a diagonal. Ah. to check something. Yep. Yeah. There's one that basically gives you a immediate runaway. I didn't think it was one of the first ones that you can get, but... Fortunately, they're slowing me down, which makes it harder for me to escape. Just let me go, thank you. Bye. Go, got that. I know, exciting stuff right now. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Thought I was safe, apparently not. So many turrets. Well, this is locked, so definitely can't go in there right now. 
seems to be rusted specifically. Hmm. Wonder what we could do about rust. Ah, dang it, that one is on a diagonal. Consistency, would it hurt so much for you to be consistent? Hmm. Confirmation of the number of trespassers believed to have caused the infant insur insurrection. Trespassers are two armed men. They are currently hiding somewhere on Illville. So two people did this. Two. Yeah, apparently Ashley can destroy these just as easily as Lolka. Yeah, we get to see our first instance of two different tools being able to do the same task. Redundancy! Anyway... It's like this piece of junk's broken. But we have a friend here. Special keys used to open this lock. Wait, why is just Loka in the party now? What happened? Oh, I should have been paying attention. I probably could have done something about that. Okay. Oh, right. We have the key in our inventory. Herp, derp. I prefer a little bit. Oh, doesn't matter. Ashley's talking anyway. Aren't you gonna run away? sent by Irving. What? I'm asking you, were you sent by Irving? Sorry, were you sent by Irving? Do you know Irving? Idiots, all of them. We're not communicating well here. It has to be you guys. You're the only two other idiots here. How can you say that with certainty? Got such a baby face for somebody who's been locked up here. Um, thanks. Did I say something to offend you? Those mic gloves are mine. Could you hand them over? There's no time, right? Who the heck are you? Death Row inmate number 666, Brad Evans. So, yep, this is where Brad's been for the past five years. He's been on death row as prisoner number 666. I'm one of the members of ARMS chosen by Irving. Let's go. And we have a full party. Achievement unlocked. Death row inmate number 666. So. Brad, you are going to get Stoldark because that's what I've got. Um, other thing I wanted to point out. Notice his class has changed to prisoner number 666 instead of fugitive. So classes do change. I don't know why they bothered doing that, because chances are nobody would have noticed, but... Anyway, what we need to do is kick the computer. The security system has been deactivated. Percussive maintenance. 30% of the time, it works every time. So, we have our full party. Gunbots destroy your achievement unlocked. Sorcery apple. That's gonna get used on local almost immediately. 
Items. Use sorcery apple on Milka. Also, organize common use items. Please, thank you. Yeah, there's multiple sorting methods now, rather than just one sort method. Um, let's see. Yep, we need to go back to the rusty door. Before we go talk with the warden, we're going this way because screw the warden. We've got loot. Crest achieved. So that's a crest graph, not a crest cap. Notice we still have our crest cap of a revive. Although, come to think of it, that's not useful because I'm not going to want to revive anybody. Oh well. A bit late now. And then now I will be healing Wilka. And only Loka. You know why? Because she's going to be the only person of this party that's going to survive. Let's go ahead and save state. Can I jump down here and loot these? Oh, they're not real. Death Road inmate number 666. I can't believe it. Even you're thinking of escaping this paradise. Sorry, Warden. I'm more at home on the battlefield than in paradise. Thanks for everything. It's way out of hand. You've given me no choice. Rest them! Rest them! Then after that, death! Death! Can't keep up with you. Instead of getting me to say cruel things, I should just do it myself. Go! Him! Come here! Go catch my valuable convicts. With the cool little spotlight effect. I really like that. I like the silhouette style. What can I say? Alright, the first boss of the game with all uh, with a full party. Okay. So, Loka is going to be defending for a while. Ashley is going to be using a mini carrot on Milka. And Brad, I think. Oh, actually, hold on a moment. Forgot. We should re equip because Moa Gold should go there. Milka, defend. Ashley, full revive. Brad, I want you to. Can I smash it? Yeah, I'll smash it. And... And unfortunately, I can't really target anybody. Did I accidentally use the floor five? Yes, I did. One moment. <sighs> ah, dang it, me. <sighs> Let's try that again, shall we? Mini carrot, not full revive me. And smash hit going down him. 
That looks better. That looked a little glitchy. Hammer swing! On Wilka. Wilka is going to be shielding herself, Ashley is going to provide healer duty, and Brad is going to continue smash hitting Gauno. Increase my defense by four. So the reason why we need to constantly shield up Ilka is that she can't take hits. So we're going to be repeatedly casting shield. Yeah, that definitely looks a little glitchy. And I missed. Hammer swing on Brad. Brad takes 65 points of damage. Cool. Good for him. Ilka, you can go ahead and shield. Ashley, you're going to attack. Brad, you actually have a... Oh, I never actually refilled your Suka. Whoops. This defense goes up by four. Ashley stabs for 58. Brad, bazookas for 188. Hammer swing on Ashley. Ashley's nearly dead. That's fine. Shield thyself, Ashley. Shoot him. Brad, shoot him. So basically what we're doing is that we're trying to do as much damage as we can and let both Brad and Ashley die. Swing on Ashley. He's down. Herp dead. Cool. I don't want to see your unconscious body. <laughs> Shield self. Brad, get off your last bazooka. You might as well. Shield. See, at least in Wild Arms 2, it tells you what stats increase and by how much so it'll so you'll know when you're actually done with casting shield enough for instance which i know i've actually done that before as in figuring out how much it takes i just don't remember anymore uh yeah might as well smash it so you have nothing else to do more shield Hit. 136 damage. Chew up. This is why we're concerned about Loka. Look how much damage she took from one hit. She can't take two hits in a row. You're going to shield. Brad, you are now on heal duty. So we need to make sure Loka stays at maximum at all times. Chew up on Lilka again. Lilka's already at condition three. Cool. Shield, self, Brad, Hillberry, Lilka. We're wasting so many Hillberries this fight. And yeah, I know this video is running on. I wasn't going to stop it mid, right before the battle. Might as well just finish this plot point. There we go. Now Brad's dead. Now we can actually fight. Okay. Now we're going to be casting Spark repeatedly until they're dead, because, naturally, being a machine, they're weak against lightning. Spark is totally lightning. <laughs> Looks so much cooler than Wild Arms 1 version. So a regular hit now does 11 to Loka, which is fine. What our strategy is going to be is that whenever they do a regular hit, we will spark. Whenever they do something else, we will heal. Just keep in mind, we don't have MP to worry about. Okay, I can take that hit. That's fine. 
nothing. Should be fine. Yeah. Zap. Three melee attacks in a row. That's very abnormal, given that it didn't do that the entire rest of the time. Um, save state, just in case, because I don't feel like having to go all the way back. Go no. Oh yeah, I should probably move Brad out of the party, just because it's bothering me that I have somebody unconscious there. There's Chew Up. I should be able to survive a Chew Up. Yep, barely. Alright, Brad, just leave. Heal yourself, Loka. Because Gaunim's so slow that, like, Brad goes faster than Gaunim, even. So chew up, so I'm gonna have to heal again. Though, honestly, I can survive a hit. Eh, I'll do it anyway. Camera swing. a very long battle. That's why I'm fast-forwarding so much. It's because I have to keep everybody so low-leveled. I think this might actually be one of, if not the last battle I have to do. This level of... No, it's not the last one. There's another battle I'm going to have to be very careful about. And that's because Ashley's the only one that can fight. Tired of waiting. Probably almost dead anyway. Let's see if I'm dead. I should be nearly dead. I'm not dead. Aw, yes. Heal. Which I heal full heal, basically. So I can attack every other turn. That's not too bad. Boring boss battles are boring. Come to think of it. Hold on a moment. I'm gonna try taking out the claw. Okay, that one I am going to actually have to heal out of. I'm gonna try it. Just because it's bothering me that I'm not taking out the rest of the body parts. And since I am apparently strong enough to be able to take multiple hits gonna do that. It's not like I'm expending resources by doing this. Ow. Heal 88, was it? 87, 88, yeah. Right. Take out the stupid thing. boss battle is boring, sorry. And I've even technically already defeated it, but I wanted to make sure that I mean most that I can out of this battle. I'm still fine for now. There we go. Where's my Metal Claw? Well, I must have defeated the Metal Claw from that. Um, 48, I think think is... I'm gonna heal. Just in case. Yep, just got him remaining. Which I think was like one or two more hits from here. Yep, you need to be healed.
Nope, not attack. Spark. There's no reason for Lilka to attack. This doesn't expend resources. And Goundam's defeated. No. Gear dropping. And 450 XP, 900 Gela, level 6. Level 6 is exactly where I want to be. That is exactly precisely the level that I want Lilka to be at, so that's good. Escapee Capture Robot Galnim, achievement unlocked. Yeah, now you can see the achievements. Just walk right on by. Ah, I say I'm stupid, it's a major insult! No, no, that's not right. Ooh. This ridiculous handling of things is not at all right. This ridiculous handling is... You understand now? Oh, wait, you're dead. You're bleeding out. We'll find out who that person is with glasses later. Let's hurry this way. Sorry, let's hurry this way. This way? Where do you plan on going? The boat docks. Have you heard of the plan? You haven't been told anything. <sighs> hey, look, it's surfing. Well, I waited for a bit, but looks like we've been finally able to meet safely. This is... Everything is going according to your plan? Is this what you wrote? Ah, uh, well, there were some changes. I think anyone would object if I said getting Brad out of Illsvale was a success. What was my rationale like as the chief? As the one who oversees people, the first thing you need to do for the people is trust your team. It won't permit you to move us around like pawns ever again. Yep, beating your employer. That sounds like a great idea. Well, next time. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Would you mind handing me my crutches? I can hardly walk without them. Hey, what is it? Was the inmate insurrection part of the plan as well? Or was that merely a coincidence? I know that. Well, actually... Besides us, who has business here in Illsville? Are we really gonna say sayonara to this hell? <laughs> yep, and with the added bonus of re-employment. Doesn't seem adequate, but I'll let it go. Time to withdraw! Plots within plots. I have a nice parallelism going on with the guy with the glasses. What's wrong? Uh, well, you know, whole getting arrested, uh, getting framed and arrested thing kind of bothers me. Also, I kind of punched out our employer. Whoops. Now that we have all three members selected for operations, now ARMS can fully begin to pr ah, finally prepare to fulfill its true mission. True mission? Yes! The threat is almost upon us. Disasters on a worldwide scale that only you can stand against. This is why ARMS was created. Why would you put a prisoner like me in ARMS? I'd love to hear your explanation. Simply put, it's your superior fighting ability. Brad Evans, hero of the Slayheim Liberation Army. Expecting great things of you. If I did try something, what would happen? Well, I have prepared for that. Kanda Rostra Amanthos. Uh, what? Those words. The release code for your Gaius is what that's supposed to be, not Gius. As in the spell Gaius. The mini bomb embedded in your neck. 
if you try to decide some, if you decide to try something, or as if you try to take the Gaius off of your neck, a boom. <laughs> you have thought of everything. So this is a dog collar that turns me into a little chess piece to control, is it? Even the insignia looks like a dog collar. Does kind of. Guard dog of law and order. Is that what I am now? Yes. But we will serve no one country. We will never become the pawn of a country. Ah, <sighs> too bad. Band of dotards, children, and escaped prisoners. We are more like stray dogs than your pawn of a country. Stray dogs of arms. Oh, it, this is for me. Hold on. Is that you, Kate? Okay, I see. We'll have them check it out. Now for your new mission. A cave-in has occurred in the underground trade route called Under Traffic, south, south of here. The closing of the trade route is harming people's livelihood. You must help them. Our missions would be a little more important. You look more like a bureaucrat than a soldier. It is a fine mission, Loka. Our purpose is to aid people. Sorry about what happened before. Uh, don't worry about it. I guess I was a little out of line, you know, the whole framing you, getting you sent to a prison aisle for execution. Do you want to make up for me? Make it up to me. Take this. What is this? The portable communicator. I'm currently flashing back to, um... Oh, why am I blanking on the movie, Swedish film, completely, utterly ridiculous. Um, set in the 80s in Miami. Oh, why am I blanking on this? Uh... This is going to bother me so much. Oh, why can't I think of this? I have... Kung Fury, there we go. <laughs> Don't know why that was bothering me. Select the new menu item, Call, to open a direct line to us here. Hope you make use of it. Chip and Unlock Communicator. Thanks. Let's go, Ashley! Been an hour and 23 minutes. Ugh. Well, let's just go downstairs, save, and then we'll go take care of some other things, shall we? Memory surface is right here. But we've done it. We've completed one of the harder sections of this run, most likely, until we get to real parts of the game. Hope you've enjoyed this internet. I uh, apologies for the very long game, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!